What's up ladies and goons? My name is Ralphie, the news anchor as always, and today we're going to be talking about a few news stories. YouTube is stealing our money, man! They are demonetizing all kinds of channels. They are going BAM! 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 To all of our channels, man, we're gonna go broke! And we're gonna have to take <gasps> normal jobs. We have to start selling cheeseburgers, working at grocery stores, sucking dick on the corner for five dollars. What's gonna happen to us when we don't got our YouTube jobs? You're gonna have to be like Al Roker, like me. Let me give you a little bit of context as to what's going on. So YouTube channels that have videos that are slightly controversial or talk about something that is slightly controversial, those videos are getting demonetized. Why? Companies like Pepsi, Walmart, Starbucks, AT&T, Johnson & Johnson, all those big major companies, they're pulling out. A lot of those brands are pulling their ads off YouTube and YouTube's way of fixing this is saying, okay, hey, wait, don't pull out. Let's go ahead and demonetize these guys over here so we can continue to have our relationship. You see the problem? Nobody's getting fucking money over there. Am I the only sane person around here? I, I sound like I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I, I, I really don't. Look, all you guys at YouTube are being a bunch of pansies. And if you think that taking our money away is gonna stop our hearts, is gonna stop our passion for wanting to make these controversial videos, well you can suck my no Any takers? Oh, oh shit, did I just, did I just? And in return, we the creators have to pay for our sins, for our terrible videos, for our terrible taste. We rest in peace. There are a lot of movies coming out. Let's start off with Spider-Man Homecoming. And let me just, let me just start the story by saying that Spider-Man 3 is hands down the best Spider-Man film ever created. I mean, who, who, who gives a performance like this? What does it matter to you anyway? Everything! <laughs> not Andrew Garfield and not this little asshole Tom Holland. Rebooting the franchise, it looks pretty cool, I guess. Nobody could ever beat Tobey Maguire. This guy over here, Tobey Maguire, he was probably the leanest, the thickest, the most sensual person I've ever seen on screen ever. <laughs> I mean, look, come on, guys. You, you can't fight that. You can't fight this guy over there. Spider-Man Homecoming is coming out very soon. It looks quite amazing. Justice League. Rich says that the Justice League trailer is better than the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. So leave a like if you want to slap Rich because that is an absolute stupid choice to make. I'm excited for Batman mostly. I don't really care about a lot of DC characters, but I mean, look at Batman. He's lean, he's green, he's thick. And then you got Justice Woman. Is that her name? Justice Woman? Okay, look nerds, don't fucking- IT! The movie! Stephen King's IT! Okay, I'm gonna be a little honest, I've actually never seen the original IT. I heard it's terrifying, I heard IT is crazy. But, I saw the trailer for it, and IT looks terrifying. I mean, come on, man! What kind of clown just sits in the sewer just waiting for some stupid boat to row in the damn stream? It's like, hey little boy, why don't you come down inside and suck my- NSA is watching this. As of any internet service provider can sell your information to the highest bidder. You want your children's age, name, location out there? Not up to you, buddy. The ISP's got it. Spying on us, sending drones into people's houses and just fucking them with it. And then finding out that their wife is cheating on them and then like found out something that they didn't want to find out originally, but they found that anyway. The NSA is out to get us, boys. Carl's Jr. Everybody's arguing about their, their favorite fast food restaurant, McDonald's, Burger King, Carl's Jr. Taco Bell, all these different... Well, 
As you guys may know, Carl's Jr. had this ad campaign for a few years. It actually was very popular, boosted their sales. It was mostly a very attractive women and it was very sexual and it was very suggestive. The girls were half naked eating burgers. It was dripping all over them and stuff. And it worked out very well for Carl's Jr. It was a little controversial, I would, I would have to say, but it worked out well. They made their money, they went home. That story is changing. They are completely removing that off their advertising game. They are going for straight quality videos and photos of their food. They are not associating any of the burgers that they own or any sort of suggestive content. That's good on you, Carl's Jr. Good job for not sexualizing women. If you didn't learn from the very first Destiny, I want you to know that many people are watching you, like me. If I have to fucking let Ghost fix the computer over and over while I defend him every damn mission, I am gonna lose my shit. I'm going to need some time to integrate these last pieces. But look, that, that that's just my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of Destiny. Maybe Destiny 2 will bring you back to the franchise. Maybe it'll be cooler than the first one. I sure as hell hope so. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Ralphie with CNBC BBC Network. And I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more news stories like this. And I will catch you in the next video.